But I'd like for you to notice in each of those relationships to gravity, what is the what role does the ground play in what you're experiencing in stillness and in movement? Okay, so that's what we're going to have a look at. So she starts out with a bent knee and she's abducting and she's letting her pelvis do whatever the thighs want it to do basically because they've got to agree with the knees and the feet. So as she starts to move into the pose, you can see she did, she's starting like we do in Trikonasana. And now she's gonna ask her shoulder to do flexion and she can enter into it like this so arm alongside the ear and then show them this one where you start with your thumb and your armpit there you go and just open it up from there yeah that's a trick to get into shoulder flexion with the right firing order in a shoulder joint yeah and see this long line she's not breaking here Look at that, that's a lot of power. Myofascial power is what that is, support. Beautiful, thank you. And when we place our hands down in yoga, here's the attitude when we use our hands in yoga. I'm generalizing, see if you're on board with me here. Get ready to put your hands down. It's like, I'm putting my hands down because I'm doing a pose. Yeah, right. So here's what I ask. Here's the reframing I ask my students to do. I'm putting my hands down as a way to strengthen my hands, open my wrists, and bring strength and openness to my elbows and shoulders. I am deliberately creating an action to strengthen my hands. On the exhalation, when you turn, what happens to the space between the spinal bodies? What happens to the discs when you turn? Or do they get more space or do they lose space? They lose space. So on an exhalation, as you do a twist, then there is a natural condensing of the disc a squeezing of the discs. When you inhale and come out or stay where you are in the progression of the turn and inhale, creating the bondas, that updraft, and that's an inside job. It's not lifting here, it's not tightening here, it's just that light internal lift. You're creating maximum length for the spine that you can, being in a twist. And then the next twist on the exhale, you're again condensing the space between the vertebral bodies. Now this squeeze and soak action that you're doing on the discs is what the discs need as long as the spine is in its optimal curvature. And what I'm gonna begin really encouraging you to do is when you know and there'll be a lot more conversation about this as we move along. When you know you're going to teach tomorrow or the next day, or you got a big weekend workshop coming up or whatever, when you get on the mat, whatever inspires you in those moments on the mat, I mean, really inspires you. Maybe it's the way the hip likes to externally rotate when it flexes. Maybe it's the way the shoulder blade can meet the back body when the arm spirals, anything the way the chest, the way you feel different emotionally when your chest lifts, whatever, take that pearl and expand on it. Just take that pearl because that's the pearl you've been given. You know, it's funny that way that uh, what yoga has become, we could have a lot of conversations about that. Uh, but I think it's meant to uh, increase our happiness. <laughs>